Hey, welcome back. It's Laura at Hyperstamper, and I've just completed this beautiful uh, seven by, let me get this right, seven by eight and three quarters junk journal from 1905. And what a fantastic title. If you do mixed media in your junk journals or just love art, this is an art education book from 1905. It's uh, in actually in really good condition, this cover and the plates inside of it are just fantastic and I've included a bunch of them in this journal. The rest I'm going to spread out amongst other junk journals that I'm making. So let's take a look inside here. I, I had to add a cotton closure because it is so chunky I couldn't close it more than that. So there is a tie to keep it shut. It is so stuffed. I probably overstuffed it if there's such a thing, but uh, let's take a look at all the fun stuff inside here. The original first page is here, and as you can see, here is the date 1905. It looks newer than that just because it's in such good condition. I made this lovely little pocket here with a journaling spot underneath, and inside here I put this wonderful page from um, an 1892 Demarest Family Magazine. Look at that beautiful image there. Isn't that lovely? You can have a lot of fun with that. And this one here from the 1800s from a German book, and that is a plate there that I've actually added a piece of antique paper on the back to and made it into a pocket. So you can actually stuff that if you like and use it for more secret spots. This on the other side is a fun 1953 receipt from Jean's High Grade Ice Cream, $2.70. And then we have a, a little journaling spot there as well. Wonderful children's story pages with the, the finger signs that moms and dads would have used. This is a fun little um, piece of silver birch, which is not easy to find, but I found it up in one of our Canadian forests. And that's mounted on top of a vintage dictionary page. And this is just a little tiny signature that I pulled out of a hymn book from the 1800s. It is fantastic. Oh my gosh, this book is just so full. There's a vintage cross-stitch pattern, typing page, another one of these wonderful children's pages, uh, little songs and poems, another really fun plate here from a children's book from 1904. And this one here is a piece of vintage needlepoint that was upholstery for a chair that never made it to the chair, but I did put some more antique paper under there for journaling. So everything in here, of course, as I always say, is authentic antique and vintage ephemera, except these few tea dyed pages for extra journaling space. 1950s stamp collectors page, and you'll see another really spectacular one of these coming up. Antique book page here made into a journaling uh, spot, and then this is an, um, a tuck spot that I made out of a vintage doily. And look at these wonderful vintage songs here. Evening prayer, morning song, uh, some inspirational uh, poems from Tony's scrapbook from 1947. And I, I highly encourage you to read those. They're lovely. And look at this whimsical little illustration from the 1930s children's book. How fun is that? The little sewing notions running away. Here we go, some more of this. And here's that wonderful um, page out of a uh, stamp collector's book. This was the British page on one side. And I believe, uh, I'm not sure the country on the other side but I can find out. And yeah, look at, they're all on their little hinges. So you can take them off and reuse them or you can just keep it the way it is. It's quite lovely. And then also this uh, vintage canasta score sheet that you can journal on front and back. And a little whoop, journaling tag here that I made out of vintage and antique paper, three different kinds. And I made the pocket there out of an antique lace. Here's a wonderful postcard here. Look at that gorgeous Trinity College building, and that is from the early 1900s, before 1910. And then the Billboard magazine double page spread from 1928. It's got the most wonderful article um, classified ads in there for really cool things that you just don't hear about anymore. So quite the wonderful journey down uh, memory lane. There's more stamps here. Look at this triangle stamp, how cool is that? I think that's so cool. Okay, another children's book page and a seeds, vintage seed book page, a 1964 London Illustrated News. Another plate here from the early 1900s book. 
And this is the other side of that illustrated news. More of that. This is one of the original plates from this book here, and it's how to uh, design. And these are some designs that they would have taught in the lessons of the book. And on the other side, I've tucked in another plate from the 1800s. So you can journal on one side and this beautiful image on the other, a vintage playing card, and this just this little book. This is not antique paper in here, but it is vintage upholstery fabric. So I thought that was kind of fun. Just tucked that in there. Another wonderful plate from the early 1900s here. Absolutely mint condition, that one. And that is from Folklore, Fables, and Fairy Tales. And then these two little banknotes here from the 1920s. This is uh, Bobby Coon, and that is a really fun little children's book. I've got a couple of pages in here of that. And then I made this double tag. So it's a journaling tag made with antique paper and then another journaling tag in this pocket here. Isn't that fun? And then in this pocket is another pocket. <laughs> so you can journal on the back and you can journal on this piece and there's just another vintage playing card here, which I just think is so fun. So uh, lots going on on this page. Whoop, that one goes there. And look at all the tags and tucks in this page. Holy Hannah, I had so much fun with this. There's that wonderful, uh, there's actually the cover of that page, Indiana Avenue, 1930 Monopolies money. And that brings us to the end where I put this vintage uh, cross stitch on here on cotton and put in two pearl shots receipts tucked into there. So it's going up on Etsy now. I hope you enjoyed it. It's hyperstamper.etsy.com. It's first come first serve. It's always free shipping. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.